Welcome to everyone watching this video today. This video is the Daily Devotion and today's scripture passage is taken from Mark chapter 11 verse 24. That is Mark chapter 11 verse 24 and I'll read it now. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. I'll read that again. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Now, a scripture link to this passage today can be found in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, which states, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Here, in this passage, asking suggests a dependence upon God. Seeking suggests that yearning and knocking suggests a persistence, a persistence in prayer. Jesus wanted to encourage this and to increase the levels of faith within each believer. These verses should not be applied out of context, out of the context of the Sermon on the Mount, as they are intended for those asking within the narrow gate of Jesus' followers. Prayer is essential to accomplish God's purposes. And we always need to remember that what we pray for uh, expectantly ready to receive needs to be things in God's will and God's way. I often say this, if we're asking to win the lottery, that may not be obviously in God's will and God's way for us. But if we see things that are of God's heart and God's nature and needs, when we ask for those needs, they are always met. Not necessarily in the ways that we expect, but God will move and meet all our needs. We can pray expectantly for our needs to be met and for the will and the way of God to come about and to materialise in prayer and to move and shake. But they need to be prayers that are focused in God's will and God's way. A scripture link to today's original passage of Mark eleven twenty four can be found in 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 5 which states At Gibeon the Lord appeared to Solomon during the night in a dream and God said ask for whatever you want me to give you. Here in this passage God invites Solomon to ask just as Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 which we just read ask and it will be given to you God commended Solomon for not asking for long life wealth and or victory here as well Jesus instructed the disciples uh, not to worry about their physical needs as we've just mentioned that is seen and evidenced in Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 to 32 as a reference. All our needs will be met. But in this passage of 1 Kings chapter 3 5, because Solomon's request was godly and in the will, in the way and the purpose of God, God promised to grant the blessings he had asked for. And obviously that is the promise for each and every one of us. Jesus also promised that God would give all of life's needs to those who seek his kingdom first and his righteousness. The reference for that is Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. And when we seek God first earnestly and we seek his righteousness. God hears, 
God answers and God moves. Amen. And remember, share the word. Please do like this video, comment on this video, share this video widely. And if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button and join us in sharing these biblical truths. God bless you all. Amen.